rendering high pass from 3D meshes exploits embedded 3D data in a unique way. The process converts high relief 3D geometry into grayscale high pass to generate low relief carvings or dual pass. 3D modeling skills and complex 3D software are not required. 3D source in 3D SOPJ, XML, and SIA format is compatible with this method. A wide variety of 3D SOPJ and other source is available on the internet. Workflow is not difficult. Courtesy of 2008 Echo is used to render images. The infinite displacement utility are used to composite images and generate mesh output. MeshLab 1.2 or later is used for mesh editing. This method is proven on Windows XP, Windows 7 and the Linux CNC or distribution of Ubuntu 10.04 for EMC. The method begins using courtesy of 2008 Echo to render images from a 3D dataset. Before starting, materials library and render preview are closed to allow a larger view of the scene. A compatible 3D mesh is loaded. Loading times depend on the geometry in the file. Most 3D datasets contain optimized geometry so loading time is fairly short. View settings are adjusted to solid rendering. A suitable view is established using a display preset and view adjustment tools. It's important that mesh extends almost fill the dotted outline that shows the area to be rendered. Optimized geometry often requires render smoothing to display as intended. This object is fine. However, if there are problems with object smoothing, the object right-click menu allows smoothing adjustments. Start render open to the camera and settings panel. The view to be rendered is confirmed as the default current view. Image resolution is selected from a drop-down or manually entered. Rendered image dimensions are influenced by the displacement tool that will use the results. BMP Vendor will be used in this example. For square images, BMP Vendor results are best using pixel dimensions of 1080 by 1080. This generates a 12 by 12 inch surface using maximum mesh resolution of 90 quads per inch. The render type is selected from a drop down. In this case, play render with a medium option. The thread option allows multiple CPUs or CPU cores to speed up render calculations. Apply put settings in place. This is confirmed in the pop-up dialog. OK, would initiate an output render. Cancel is selected to allow discussion of scene options. It's important to ensure the scene view displays the effect of changes to output resolution settings. This cannot be performed until settings have been applied. Right click on listed elements opens an associated menu. Go to follow updates the current scene view to display the effect of camera and settings panel changes. An icon appears confirming use of the camera view. Start render open to the cameras and settings panel to render output. OK initiates rendering. The scene does not contain any lights and an alert dialog appears. The default headlight will be fine. Clicking yes starts the render. A lock icon will appear indicating rendering is in progress. The toolbar image button opens the rendered image panel to view rendered output. Rendering is a multiple pass operation with progress displayed as a percentage in the courtesy and title bar. Render time is displayed on the status bar. Clay render creates output using a single diffuse color. It reduces suitable output without requiring work related to scene materials. This is particularly useful for found 3D objects that will most likely not have material assignments. 
This render extracts mesh detail data for compositing with a depth map. Time for completion is affected by available RAM, graphics processor speed, CPU speed and output dimensions. Where system resources are limited, a clay render using a quick option can reduce output of almost equal quality in faster rendering times. Time required to complete this render is in the region of 2 minutes. Total range in the clay render output affects its influence when compositing with a depth map. Adjustment is possible during rendering and on the fully rendered image. Adjustments increase contrast to emphasize detail in the output preview. When adjustments are as required, the image is saved using an identifiable file name. Image adjustment options are reset to 1.0. Start render reopens cameras and settings to render depth map. Settings option is changed to depth render. OK initiates rendering. A no light and scene alert appears. As previously noted, the default headlight will be fine. Clicking yes starts the render. Depth map rendering completes in 21 seconds. Adjustments improve representation of content and ensure areas do not fade out before mesh extents are fully shaded. When adjustments are as required, the image is saved using an identifiable file name. The rendered image channel is closed. The courtesy scene is saved in KZX format. Reloading the KZX file adjustment to the view and render of two images allows fast generation of alternate views or versions. Rendered images can now be composited using the view. Many graphics applications can composite images to produce high mass. Give 2.6 or later is required for this method. A 32-bit Windows XP platform is shown, but Windows 7 and Linux 10.04 are equally suitable. The GIMP 2.6 interface is customized for the video, showing only required tools and dialogs. This is not necessary for normal workflow. With a layers dialog active, file open is used to load courtesy and depth render output. Colors, invert, adjust depth render colors to produce a convex displacement. The select by color tool is activated. Tool options are applied to adjust threshold value to zero. Left click in the background area selects all black pixels. Select, invert, select the shaded area. Select, save to channel, stores the selection as an editable grayscale mask. File, open as layers, loads courtesy and clay render output. Layer apply mode is changed to overlay. Overlay mode, darkened layers below, transferring form and detail extracted from shading in the clay render layer. Opacity is adjusted to suit preference. Right click on the clay render layer shows all layers context menu. The new layer function is executed. Default in background color is black. Layer fill type uses the background color option. The bucket fill tool is activated. The fill hole selection option is applied. A white fill is applied to the selection. The filters menu is accessed to launch caution blur. 
the view is adjusted to show smaller parts. The radius value is adjusted to apply shading around the edge of the fill. Care is required. Too much blur reduces the shading effect on smaller parts. OK executes the blur. Layer apply mode is set as multiply. Opacity is adjusted to suit preference. Multiply mode darkens colors in layers below using gray values to control the effect. Where the multiply layer is white, no darkening occurs. Where intermediate gray values are found, a degree of adjustment is applied. The effect on the height map is to introduce control of the ledge softening and shading. Right click on any layer shows the layer's context menu. New from visible combines visible layers, blending results of apply mode and opacity settings onto a single new layer. Filters reshow Gaussian blur is used to reopen the filter. A slight blur is applied to soften the new visible layer. File Save As saves the result in the MP format for use with displacement software. The EMP layer warning appears. Flatten image removes layer and channel data from the image. Advanced options confirm output to be 24 bit RGB data. Alt tab is used to toggle system focus to the EMP vendor running alongside the HIMP in the background. The EMP version of the high map is loaded and the release quickly generates. Results are quite good for this basic method. Adjustments to layer opacity and unit provides easy means to refine the relief to suit requirement. Simple adaptations to the basic method provide additional options to control final output. The example shows an adaptation to the basic method to provide additional control options. Processing and settings for depth render and clay render layers are unchanged. The softening layer is replaced by individual adjustment layers for each element. Workflow changes are incorporated after loading courtesy and clay render output. This layer provides the clearest view for selection of individual elements. A guide is dragged from the top ruler to align with the highest part of the base element. Rectangle select is activated. The subtract option is applied. Content that falls within the rectangle will be removed from the active selection. A rectangle is tracked to align with a guide, removing all of the face element from the active selection. Small areas in the dragon element are also removed. The view is magnified to show parts of the dragon element not currently selected and the guide is removed. The path tool is used to outline the area that falls outside the active selection. Click and drag as nodes are created applies curvature to connecting segments. Bezier's blind handles allow curve adjustment as the path is created. Pressing control while connecting the last point with the first point closes the path. The path dialog is activated. 
Right click on the entry below the Pass tab that opens the Pass context menu. After selection, join the area enclosed by the path to the active selection. The process is repeated until all of the dragon element is selected. The selection is saved to a channel and made. The original channel containing both elements is loaded as the active selection. The channel defining the dragon element is subtracted from the active selection, leaving the base element area as the active selection. The selection is saved to a channel and made. The layer's dialog is activated and the clear render layer is selected. Layer apply mode is changed to overlay. Opacity is adjusted to suit preference. Right click on the clay render layer shows the layer's context menu. The new layer function is executed. Layer fill type uses the transparent option. Left click on the foreground color indicator launches the change foreground color dialog. A 75% gray value is applied. With a new transparent layer active, the base area is filled with 75% gray. Layer apply mode is set as multiply. Toggle of layer visibility shows the effect on the height map. Colors overlaid by the base fill are darkened by 25%. Shape of the fill controls where adjustment is applied. Color value controls maximum available adjustment. Layer opacity controls strength of the effect. Foreground and background colors are reset to black and white. The swap foreground background color function sets black as the background color. Right click on the transparent layer shows the layer's context menu. The new layer function is executed. Layer fill type uses the background color option. In the channels dialog, the dragon channel is loaded as the active selection. The dragon selection is filled with white on the newly created layer. The filters menu is access to launch dark and blur. The view is adjusted to show smaller parts. Blur radius is adjusted to suit preference. OK executes the blur. Layer apply mode is set as multiply. Where the black background of this layer overlays the base element, colors in the layers below are darkened to black. A layer mask will restrict its effect to the dragon element. Right click on the layer shows the layer's context menu. Add layer mask opens the layer mask dialog. The channel option allows any saved channel to mask the effect of a layer. The dragon channel is selected and the base element reappears. When the base adjustment layer is made visible, independent control over the base element is restored. Layers are named and adjusted to suit preference. Right click on the top layer shows the layer's context menu. New from visible combines visible layers, blending results of apply mode and opacity settings onto a single new layer. The original selection containing both elements is reloaded. With a combined layer as focus, filters reshow Gaussian blur opens the filter. A slight blur is applied to soften the new visible layer. File Save As saves the result in DMP format for use with displacement software. The DMP layer warning appears. Flatten image removes layer and channel data from the image.
Alt-Tab is used to toggle system focus to the MD vendor running alongside the HIP in the background. The PMP version of the hype map is loaded and the release quickly generates. The benefit of independent element adjustments is clear in the result. At this point, the MP vendor functions can be applied to trim and save the relief. While the MP vendor has been used for its adjustable display, those who cannot use it, such as Linux platforms, can get identical mesh output from 3DK Sage. With user control of subdivision and choice of trial quad mesh topology, 3DK Sage provides more options for control over mesh generation. A variety of 3D content has been tested with basic and adaptive methods. The MP vendor output is shown without use of blurring functions. Smoothing in mesh lab will adjust the release surface rather than blurring detail from the high map used for generation. It's important that the original 3D mesh is of sufficient detail and resolution. Poor quality low detail sources will not reduce high quality relief. MeshLab is a powerful geometry processor with many useful functions. While there is some difference between versions, MeshLab version 1.2 or later will perform workflow in this example. On launch, the user is presented with an empty project. Import Mesh on the top toolbar loads compatible geometry. 3D data is subject to processing as loading takes place. The view menu hides the on-screen trackball, providing a clearer view of geometry. File export mesh as saves geometry in standard polygon format. Mesh lab filters operate more efficiently using this format. The Windows menu selects a suitable orthographic view for face selection. It can be helpful to change display mode to flat lines, allowing better face visibility. Scrolling the mouse wheel zooms the view. Select by rectangular region is activated. A suitable region is dragged around required faces. The selection face count is recorded in the info panel. Select by rectangular region is deactivated. Filters selection invert selection shows a filter options panel. The invert vertices option is unticked and the filter is executed. The view is adjusted to confirm only undisplaced faces are selected. The delete faces and associated vertices function removes selected faces and any related vertices. Flat display mode is activated to show the actual mesh surface without use of smoothing. Modifications are updated to the previously saved file. Filters, smoothing fair and deformation, HC Appalachian Smooth is applied. Preview displays the effect on the current form. Apply executes the filter. Mesh lab filters have no new feature. Instead, previews display effects and allow adjustment of options before apply executes the function.
the structure or topology of a mesh means it contains many redundant faces. A quadratish collapsed decimation filter will remesh the form to a more efficient dataset using alternate mesh topology. The default option seeks to reduce face count by 50%. The preserved boundary of the mesh option is selected. User specified values for face count can be applied. It can be helpful to activate the planar simplification option for geometry with larger flat areas. Filter status updates are provided below the information panel. Modifications are updated to the previously saved file. Export mesh as saves in STL format for use in 3D G coding applications. Mesh Lab can generate, modify, and composite 3D geometry in many ways. A video tutorial more fully describing Mesh Lab functions is available. Texture previews are from commercial G-coding software. Plain white previews are from Freemill.